Okay, hello everyone. I'm Rongqi. Uh, today, I will waste reason to do this presen presentation about um, step crimson verification on Arc 64. Okay, so today I will talk in these six parts, um, from function to to performance verification and feature works. First is about deployment and uh, optimizations. We know we can only use, wait a minute. We can only use Sysstar, which is a new backend object stored by Wistar Shell. I, I think Sam has mentioned that uh, yesterday. And uh, now we add code to spot it through YAM file. We add code in uh, some modules like ZFADM and ZFONI and so on. And we build we build a crimson <coughs> image in ARM version. So now we can um, we can deploy multiple nodes, crimson C store cluster by self ADM and use some um, benchmark tool like uh, Redos Bench and FIO to test our cluster. Um, by the way, the PRs uh, self ADM part is uh, is re uh, has been reviewed by Adam King and. Uh, I hope someone could help to review the uh, self-volume part and maybe merge it. Okay, so so next one is about a memory leak and uh, memory memory waste. Uh, we know in memory store um, and and uh, uh, CN store, we can see the a a image here. Um, um, you know, after a large amount of small writes, buffer point in buffer list objects would contain many invalid, um, you know, like um, invalid data, like the blank parts of the, like the write of the image here. And uh, what's more, um, PG log, OMAP, and the XH build also use buffer list. When buffer list reserve memory page alone is needed, but we cannot reuse that part of the page. It will cause many uh, memory waste. Uh, by the way, like uh, the last that I mentioned, it maybe will cause out of memory error. So that is really not good. So a PR about less case is uh, is still on the way. We will we will uh, contribute it to the community, of course, after the uh, the meeting. Okay, so let's talk about performance. From perf crimson message benchmark, we found that the magic bottlenecks is at atomic operation of memory use count in memory pool a module. The function the function here occupies near thirty five percent overhead, and uh, this function use ARM um, LSE atomic instruction instead of LDX and SDX instruction. So, you know, um. Uh, I would say for Ceph, there's less contentions, so maybe we can just disable it. And after disable LSE and we use two megabit page, page size, after that we, you know, we can see um, four, four kilometers small packets without it, we can get about 50% improvement. And for one megabit packet, um, because of limited uh, limitation by memory copy, so we cannot see obvious improvements. But with two megabit huge page size, we can get about eight percent performance improvement on both um, packets. So maybe, um, furthermore, you, we know um, now maybe next generation of OSD is Crimson and. Uh, uh, object store is this law, but we know the the the, the buffer list and the memory pool are from the legacy design. Maybe we we will refactor and um, the the whole parts of that, and we of course we will uh, contribute a, a pull request pull request to SAP community as well. Okay. Um, actually, we test the uh, multi nodes cluster. I think it might be the first time we uh, use Sysstore and uh, multiple nodes cluster performance test. Um, okay, so what we 
what we did is we built a scenario with three ARM servers. And uh, uh, I will take some time to, to explain test cases here. You may, um, you may have a doubt that why like Crimson with Alien Blue Star and the uh, classical OSD with Blue Star, they only have 18 uh, OSDs. I think Sam has mentioned yesterday that um, like C star is, uh, you know, C star is, and the Crimson are right by uh, C, star, C star. So, you know, C star requires an uh, ex exclusive call to run OSD logic in the reactor. Well, Blue Star thread must be pinned to, pinned to uh, other call, but the Classic has no limitation. It can assign two calls. So, class, Classic OSD are as the same as the, um, uh, Crimson with Alien Blue Star. They are the same, like 18s, and uh, each, each pin is two cards. But you know, the C star is natively supported by Crimson. So, in order to um, keep the con consistency, so we need to double double the OSD numbers. So, uh, Crimson with C star should use uh, 30, uh, 36 OSDs. Uh, let uh, times three three names. We have three servers. Okay. And uh, oh, and we use three replicas. So after the test, we can uh, you can see the image here, and we do a little bit of analysis. We found that C star is already functional in terms of single shard reads and writes. And compared to, compared with classical blue star, C star, uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, the optimization here means the LSE, like disabling the LSE here. So I, actually it's a get a improvement, right? So uh, it's a IOPS ratio, like uh, this one is the, this one? Uh, okay. This one is the classical OSD and uh, this part is C star, a uh, C star, okay. So this part is crimson with uh, alien star. So maybe the different architecture of the server. So for for our analysis, C star only only achieved about sixty part, a uh, sixty percent performance. Of course, C star is still under active development. Okay, so and uh, we found that up to a hundred times the uh, application well read process, well QG read uh, when write processor. So we need to fix it. It's not the, the last you know result, of course. And for our team, we are do many things to contribute to uh, the self community. Not of course, not only Crimson and C Law, but but for this part, we will. Redesign the main port um, and uh, uh, collect uh, collect uh, memory usage across multi core, and uh, we will do buffer list optimizations, and we will do like a default QG page in Crimson. And for C store part, we will fix the write and read uh, amplification, just like I mentioned before, and uh, we will uh, do many test cases and even like Crimson and the C store and CI. Okay, I think it's just a short in introduction with what our team is doing and uh, like what we will do in the future. Crimson and the C store is pretty new and, and uh, I think in many meetings and uh, conference, Sam has introduced many things about that. We are very interested in this part and uh, we want like uh, not only OSD but also like a, a new object start to a, a newer, higher stage. Okay, thank you everyone, any questions? Hey, those are really cool results. Um, I don't think we've done that much actual cluster testing yet, so this is actually ahead of where I think the, most of the C-Store workers are. 
Mm -hmm. The read amplification is pretty straightforward. When you did the writes, how did you pop, so for the RAND read test, how did you populate the device? Maybe, the, uh, like this question, I, I will introduce my coworker, Lucy Tuanze. Repeat the question, maybe? Yeah, how did you populate the device? Was it, for instance, um, usually when testing RBD, because RBD volumes are sparse, you need to first yeah. write to the whole device? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which normally, the size of the write shouldn't matter in this context, but in C-Store it does, because C-Store is currently super duper primitive, especially in this portion of the pathway. If you perform a one megabyte write, it literally allocates a one megabyte extent, mm -hmm. and then you have to read the whole extent back when you do a, any read within it. And that's the reason, that's probably the reason for the right amplification. There's a pull request out to fix that part. Actually, there are two. One is we're, we, we, we shouldn't be allocating one megabyte extents in the first place. So there's a limit on being added so that we just won't do that. And the second piece is the ability to read portions of an extent without reading the whole thing. Um, so if you send me an email, I'll try to give you those PRs because you might be interested in testing them. Um, see how that affects the right read amplification. Yeah, of course. For the performance side, I'm, hmm, I think I'm surprised it's that high, actually. It's pretty good. Um, it's high. <laughs> yeah, so the reason for that is that if you remember my talk from yesterday, the uh -huh. internals of C-Store require this big LBA tree traversal pretty much any time you do anything. Uh -huh. um, and it's really CPU expensive. So there's a giant patch series that totally reworks the way that works in memory. Because even, if, even in the scenario where we cache most of the LBA tree, which we do try to, um, the lookup pathway is really slow. So there's a path, there's a pull request that adds a bunch of direct pointers to that tree that allows the traversal to be very much, much faster. So you may be interested in testing that patch as well. I would be curious as to how much that closes the performance delta. Actually, I have a question to you. Like, did you ever test in C store? Because I see the, the blog in the community. That's just crimson. So the reason is that mm -hmm. um, in order to do performance testing on something, it has to exist. Uh -huh. So we, we, we had this problem where when I initially created C-Store, I tested streaming rights because that's pretty much the only thing that was going to work with the primitive uh, initial data structure versions. Okay. Um, everything after that requires a ton of iterative improvement to the way we structure the internal data structures. Of course. Same thing pretty much happened with BlueStore. BlueStore was initially only better for big streaming rights simply because it skipped the double journaling behavior FileStore had. It was a long time before BlueStore received performa uh, managed performance parity and then started beating file store for random IO. So we expect this to be a journey. We're gonna have to do a lot of iterative testing and improvement. Yeah, we can do that together. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, okay. Any other question? Okay, thank you everyone.